Hi everyone, we're back with another video and this time to show you a new feature that is available to all football practices that are currently using version 5 and version 6 of the product. The new practice content editor is the first stage of enabling practices to control their own website content. And in this first stage, the tool enables practices to be able to create and add their own news posts, change and amend their opening hours, and that includes adding special closures for bank holidays and training days, and adding their own emergency notices. The editor is really intuitive and simple to use, and I'll give you a quick demonstration of just how simple it is. So if you're a practice who is using the patient form control feature, you will be familiar with this way of accessing the feature. You just need to add forward slash practice dash editor to the end of your website address. And that will take us to a login page. And at the moment, the access has been restricted to dashboard administrators. So similar to the patient form control, a dashboard administrator can log in using their existing login information that they would use to log into the dashboard. So the first thing that we see is the overview page, which shows us the current and active news items, emergency banners, opening times and special closures. So if you wanted to, you can go in and have a look at these items and even edit them if you wanted to. And you can create a new news post, emergency banner, edit your opening times and add special closures immediately from this page too. So very straightforward and nice if you're in a bit of a hurry to get a post or banner on your site. If you wanted to have a look at some more advanced options for these areas, you've got the menu on the left hand side of the screen where you can select any of these options, which gives you some more information and controls over what you can do. So firstly, you've got the emergency notices and we've got a couple on here, which you can see. It clearly tells us which is currently on the website and which is sat in draft. So if you have emergency notices you regularly use from time to time, you can keep them in draft to safely type them out again. And you can easily switch them on or off by using these arrows. So let's just have a quick look at how that works. So here you can see it's immediately displayed on the patient face of the website. Go back and you can see here you can edit existing notices if you wanted to. Um, there's the option to delete. To create a new notice alert, we just need to select add emergency notice. And give it a title, type the message you want to be displayed. We always recommend trying to keep these as short and simple as possible, just to keep the message punctual and everything looking neat and tidy on the front end of the website. Then you can use this toggle button to say if you want to make this live now or if you want to save it as a draft for future use. Next up in the menu is the practice news and we can see our current active posts and some posts with different statuses here too. You've got the option to review and amend any of these current posts if you want to here as well. But to create a new news item, we need to go into add news article. And here you can add a headline for your post. You can type your content in your post and you've got some different formatting tools here too. So you can add links and maybe make some important messages stand out. Then we can select a start date. So this is really great if you want to be nice and organized for any upcoming events or posts that you want to make. You can get your post written up beforehand and schedule the post to go out at a specific time and date if you wanted to. If you want the post to go live immediately, you can just leave this blank. You can select an expiry if you want the post to be removed at a certain point in time. And then we can hit publish to publish or schedule the post. And if you want to come back into it to perhaps make a change to some typos, you can just select the unpublish button. Lastly, we have practice opening time. So again, this is really good if you want to amend your current opening hours, you maybe want to add some closures over lunch times. You can just add and change these using the icons here. And at the bottom of the page is where you can add your special closures. So you can add the date and time or just leave this blank if it's an all-day closure. So that wraps up this quick demonstration of the first stage of the new practice content editor. So this is a tool that will continue to be developed moving forward. So expect to see some additional things added here in the future.